Good morning, everybody. This is the Go To family in Cusco, Peru. Today is a very exciting day because we are traveling outside the city. We are going to an alpaca and perhaps a llama farm as well. So that should be interesting. We're also going to the city of Pisac or maybe it's a little town. We're gonna go and see the ruins of Pisac as well as the market over there. So this is gonna be exciting. Just hope it doesn't rain though because it rains all the time here in Cusco during the rainy season. I'm really excited to go to the alpaca farm because I love alpacas. Are they your favorite animal? Yes. Located in the Sacred Valley, about a 30 minute drive from Cusco is Awana Cancha. Here you can get close and personal with the animals and learn about the differences between them all. Domesticated 5,000 years ago, the alpacas, llamas, guanacos, and the vicuñas are all native to the Andes and have provided clothing, fuel, and more to their local people. It's a great place to visit, especially with children. You're even able to feed them barley and other grasses and they never seem to be full. Afterwards, Quechuan women describe the process involved in using the fur from these animals to create the traditional Peruvian fabrics. The experience is quite educational and hands-on. There are even Quechuan women demonstrating ancient techniques as they weave by hand using looms. Afterwards, you can visit the shop which sells high quality textiles to take home as a souvenir. Right now we just park here at the market in Pisac and you can just see the surroundings just like everywhere else around Cusco is just so many mountains everywhere you look everything is perched on a mountain. So Pisac not a very big city it's more like a village and you can just see that it's quite rural. This is nice going to be kind of like a more traditional feel of uh, the Andes right here in Pisac so I'm kind of excited for that. <laughs> So we got a bag full of these, uh, I, I believe they're uh, vegetables, and they kind of look like porcupines. Can I take so, something? Yes. Um, Dad only wanted two, but she gave us the whole entire pile of them, <laughs> because Dad gave her more money. <laughs> so I got a bag full of these porcupine-like vegetable here, and I still don't know the name of these. I, I try understanding. Just my, my Spanish is not up to par today, I guess. She said you can eat them raw. And she wanted 250 for that, but it, 250 is like close to 80 or 100 dollars uh, Canadian, uh, about 80 dollars US or so. So you're not gonna spend that unless you're really educated, you know what you're buying. And I mean, it does look real, but still, it's a lot of money to spend at the market. So I just bought myself a Bell 25 Sola, so about six US dollars or so. So uh, this is real leather, and she did the demonstration. She lit up a match. 
and it just kind of smelled like leather, so I believe her. This looks like a nice belt. There you go, why not? In Pisac, right next to the market, actually right in the market, is this restaurant called Cuchara de Palo. It's really, actually it's basically in the market and here we are right now. Now this restaurant is actually really quite beautiful on the inside, it's quite spacious and you have like plants and you have cactuses and everything, the decor is really really nice here. We got a bunch of things to eat. Uh, I got the, uh, I believe this is a, it's a lamb stew that I got here. So the lamb stew comes with some beans and it comes with some rice. So it's not a very uh, complicated, it's like a simple, typical kind of dish. And I've been eating some alpaca so I decided to uh, go for a change and get some lamb instead. So the lamb cook in a coriander sauce, you can see that the sauce is kind of like this dark green, comes with some carrots and also some peas as well. Here we go. Let's try to cut into this piece of lamb right here. Oh, that actually was quite easy. It feels like a really tender piece of lamb. Oh, and it has a lot of coriander. Well, let's try it out. Mm. That coriander flavor just keeps giving. Like you get a hint of it at first and then it kind of kicks you in the mouth and it also comes through on the aftertaste. But the, the lamb itself is quite tender, it's quite nice. I actually really like the sauce. It's like, it's like a coriander gravy. I've never really had anything quite like this. The lamb is really tender, really moist, really nice. Goes well with the sauce. That's quite delicious. And right here we have some tequeños with guacamole. This is ubiquitous here in Peru. You find it literally at every restaurant as an appetizer. Always a hit with the kids, of course. Now these tequeños in particular kind of look like fried churros, but these are gonna be salty, not sweet. And here we have our guacamole. And here we go. So you just load it up. Very simple. Oh, mmm, these are good. Look at that. These tequenos are filled with cheese in the middle. And they're not always filled with cheese. These are rolled up, filled with cheese. They have this nice, crunchy, but also kind of soft texture at the same time. It's really good. And that guacamole, a little bit on the spicy side, but delicious. A short drive away from the PSAC, actually that's a new PSAC town where we were just at at the market, is this is the Incan PSAC city. So here we're, as you can see, we're really high up on the mountain. PSAC town, the other town, uh, was really low down. It was like almost like in a valley. But right now we're super high. Just look at the mountains around us. You can see we're almost like at the top of, at the top of the mountain and my breath is uh, it's thin Whew. but yeah so now we're at the Incan Pisac city so uh, the Spaniards came here and they you know as is typical they've kind of destroyed the city and they rebuilt they refounded the town of Pisac down below but here we're gonna see some ruins of the old town of Pisac and I gotta say guys this place is oh look at that You're really high up here, guys. Wow. This is unbelievable. It feels like you're touching the clouds. Wow. This is crazy, and you gotta be careful. You can see it's pretty steep. It's pretty steep. Just look at this beauty behind me. 
Have you ever seen anything like this? I don't know if I have, honestly. I've traveled to a lot of places in the world and this is up there. This is really something special. Just like right behind me, you have these terraces. So uh, I don't know if they're still in use. They still might be in use, but the Incas used to use them uh, to harvest different uh, vegetables. So I believe corn, uh, they used to do corn. They used to do all kinds of other vegetables that they used to harvest. And you can see that these terraces, they go down a lot. And you can just see that the altitude is super high here. Just look at those clouds. You can see those clouds? And you see the tips of the mountains? Well, those mountains over there are not much higher than where we are. And you can just see that those mountains are inside the cluster. We're close to being in the clouds here. I've never seen anything quite like this. And if you want to hike, you can actually hike all the way up over there. So you could have probably hours of fun here if you really want to. So if you want to hike, you can hike on that side. And I think you can go all the way back there. So uh, there's more than meets the eye here if you want to do it. Of course, we're not going to do it with the kids. It's uh, a little tricky. And also it was just raining, so it might be a little slippery. So probably not a good idea for us, but a lot of people are doing it. You can just see people all around. All right, so that's gonna do it for us for today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're in Cusco, do come to PSAC. This place is worth the trip, trust me.